Hello and welcome to Advertisers Watching Ads. My name is Tom Ollerton. I'm the founder of Automated Creative, and this is a weekly show where brands watch other brands' ads. This week, we are brought to you as ever by Contagious.com. So thanks to the guys for sourcing the ads this week that we've chosen. Um, but we're going to do one very interesting ad this week. But before we get to that, let's meet this week's guests. Hi, my name is Fala. I'm marketing manager for Alain Water. I'm based out of Dubai, UAE. Hi, I'm Melissa Poleski. I am the sales and marketing director at The Pi. Hello, I'm David Byrne. I'm the brand lead for Aviva in London. Vastly know that less than 6% of image-based search results show conditions on skin of colour. So they created a See My Skin database to help everyone find skincare that suits them. This is more than an ad. It's a public health service tackling healthcare inequality. Let's have a look. Searching online, I definitely found it hard to get solutions for dark-skinned women, in particular with skin conditions that looked like mine. I started searching, just looking for answers. Not seeing any any evidence of other people like me. To feel like you're able to see yourself and know that you're not alone. We are a part of this world too, you know. We matter as well. My community deserves to be seen. What we're going to do is we're going to give this execution a vote out of five. So one, two, three. Okay. Can you give the audience a bit of a, a background on the wider campaign? Certainly this is a campaign video, but what else is the brand doing around to support just this one video? I rewatched it a few times and I was like, actually, what they're doing is is different. It isn't like they're selling a product, are they? They're not like pitching this product. They're actually like kind of pitching this whole website where people can go on and find a dermatologist, which I thought was really interesting. It's almost like a, basically a database with this company, Hued. So then you go on there and then you can search for whatever sort of issue you have and find a dermatologist that can help you out, I guess, in your area and that have their, you know, the specialty that you need. They've seen that there's an issue here. They're aligning their brand with the issue. And they're not just like going to be like, here's our skin cream that's going to solve it. Here's a whole website and database um, to, to deal with this issue, whatever issue you have. So I thought that was interesting. So this copy really resonated with me, even as a brown person, not necessarily on the skin issues, but really the whitewashing of advertising and media in general. My spontaneous reaction was that this is quite woke advertising for what is generally a very mass global brand. And the production value is also reminiscent of the Dove Real Women Real Beauty campaign. The women in their natural skin, without any makeup, indeed without any artifice. So it, it gives you, th that's a spontaneous, that's the first, you know, reaction you get out of this uh, communication. And then as you delve deeper, you know, on a deeper level, it really pleases me that Vaseline has taken its inside platform of healing and nourishment to talk beyond physical, superficial healing to a deeper emotional level of healing of inclusivity of being seen of being heard so david are vaseline doing the right thing here some quality purpose-led marketing or is this a really fancy data acquisition strategy what they're doing is purposefully i suppose building a repository of reference to uh, skin issues on non-white skin, which hopefully helps people that are searching later on because it's all tagged to be able to find things that are similar to them and a solution. Now, the, the issue from a commercial point of view, what is Unilever's role in this and what is Vaseline's role in this and what's Hude's role in this? From a brand development point of view, it's great to go beyond just informing the audience about the campaign idea or the brand and really have that two-way conversation, uh, really a dialogue, which they're trying to do by setting up this platform with Hude and inviting consumers to send in their questions, any queries, related their pictures the only issue that i saw in it was that it ends quite abruptly the call to action was a little abstract and really it left me feeling a little bereft you know as it stirred these emotions in me but it didn't really take it all the way to a point where i would actually do something about it i had the same feeling too i was like oh gosh why 
what has gone on with her? Like, I'd like to hear more from her then or like hear her story more. She's in tears about about what she's been through. So it just felt like a little bit something a bit longer. Or, I don't know. Any kind of issue or, or deeper emotional connection you want to make with your consumers, it really still has to stem from what the brand represents. Uh, so that's something that I did, think that they did great. And I really want to see what more stuff that they're going to be doing now. David, have they done enough here? I guess in the UK, we take our healthcare provision for granted almost, right? So if I go with a particular condition to the doctors, I'll get seen relatively quickly and they will have a bunch of solutions for me. Whereas I guess in the States where you might have private medical insurance and you might have that might not cover these sort of conditions that might go on for many, many years, then being able to have a um, a place where you can find a dermatologist that might be an affordable dermatologist, maybe, then that is a good thing that they are doing. If, if they are helping people get over a particular issue and find the information they need, then that is fantastic. I suppose my question is, what is the role of the brand and the, the commercial? Because, you know, no brand is altruistic. They've paid millions of pounds for this campaign. Why are they doing it? You just made a very good point about private health care thing that we have in the United States. So... This could be providing these dermatologists with a steady stream or, you know, with some new potential patients, which by us in the States, you know, I mean, hmm, that's a bit blurred, isn't it? If it's a private provider, which most of the time they are, then what is this? Where is this data going? Like that, that is very interesting to me. But again, like it, it, clearly there is a gap here. Um, there's an, it, there's, there's a pain point here and they're trying to solve it. It's just like, how is this, is this the way to do it is Vaseline, which has been around forever. You know, it's such a big brand. I mean, when I first saw the ad, I was like, oh my gosh, I mean, I was smothered in this stuff as a kid. It's just a very well-known brand and trusted do we think, right, do we think that the audience, there's a, there's a clear contract here, right? Okay, commercially, the web hasn't provided the solutions that we would hope. There is a need. So so that's where Unilever step in and they say, okay, well, we've noticed there's a need. We're going we're gonna to commit money to do that, but you will need to give us uh, both your data, which might have greater uses for your community, but also will help us from a first party point of view, retarget and understand you a bit better. Mel, David, Follack, thank you so much for your time. 